हेलो फ्रेंड्स वंस अगेन आई एम हियर विद माय न्यू टॉपिक डेट फंक्शंस हाउ टू यूज डेट फंक्शंस इन टैब्लो इन दिस वीडियो वी विल सी दिस फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी हैव टू अंडरस्टैंड व्हिच टाइप ऑफ फंक्शंस वी यूज ऑफ डेट्स इन टैब्लो एंड हाउ वी विल अप्लाई हाउ वी यूज देम देन आई विल लेट यू नो हाउ टू यूज देम डेट फंक्शंस आर बेसिकली यूज्ड टू डेट वैल्यूज टू एक्सट्रैक्ट देम इन द रिक्वायर्ड फॉर्मेट first one format is date add where two values are added date part interval and date this adds given a number of days of months or years to the date data pro, uh, date provided date part means month year interval and date date diff this return the difference between two given dates date part and date 1 and 2 difference between two, difference between two dates in the terms of days months or year similarly date part extract the day month or year in the numeric format from a given table and date name extract the day month or year in the string format means january february like this extract in the string format from a given tab date so friends we will go to now go to the tableau and we will understand what are these date functions and how to apply these functions so we will go to the tableau we are using same data set here what we will do because we are using date function then we will see in which uh, which uh, part date is mentioned order date first we will see order date is here we will simply drag and drop order date here then what we will do because this is in year we will convert by right click we will convert it to day level so now we will convert it to we will again click here discrete level then by clicking uh, a discrete we are getting the dates on which uh, the order was placed now what we will do we will go to the create calculated field create calculated field and we will mention here date add day we have mentioned here date at day then what we will do here date add function we will use in this we will mention date part at which basis we are using this on the basis of day we want to calculate this on the basis of day interval let's say 3 days interval order date if we are mentioning here order date so what we will do this calculation field is valid from this we can understand that we are writing it in a correct way this calculation is valid then what we will do we will go to apply and we will go to okay then new field date add day is created here we will simply drag and drop this field to here
so friends we can understand that year column has been added here now what we will do we will simply right click on this and we will go to the day level and again we will simply right click and we will go to the discrete level so there is a, another one column is added day of date data adds day this was for january 3 it was january 6 for 10 13 21 24 so we can easily understand that uh, how we we can apply the day of date added so we have done in this video for days if we will do same thing for if we want to do changes some changes for months if we want to use for month what we will do we will put here month and for three months for same order date so we can also write it down for year if we simply click here simply first drag and drop here we can note it down for year 2 sorry we have simply right click edit So friends we can easily understand that it is showing for year 2. So if we want to change this for year for uh, on the date basis for month. So we can simply change it for year for month for different different according to different different parameters. We have noted down for month now but we can note it down for the month of for year 2 we can note it down for on the basis of on the basis of year on the basis of days so date at function this how this is how we use now go to the sheet number 2 next in function was date diff how to use date diff what we will do we will simply drag and drop first order date here and we will go to the ship date where is the ship date this one So friends now we will use our next our next one 
function that is date diff we want to find out the difference of the date between two date then how we will find out the date diff function is used for that purpose so first one i have uh, choose order date another uh, i want to i will choose ship date and then i will find out the difference between both so what i will do i will first convert this to the day level then again i will click it, right click here then i will convert it to discrete level now i will go to the ship date sorry i will go to the order date and will convert this to the day level then i will convert this one to the discrete level so i find found out the data in the way i i really want to display now i will go to the create calculated field and in this i will create a calculated field of name date diff see i just want a function date diff on the basis of day we can write it down on the basis of month or year too as i wrote down in the pre previous uh, function so we will create here date diff on the basis of which on the basis of date part so date part is which we are creating this on the basis of day start date what will be the start date order date and end date it will be the ship date simply we can we will apply and then okay then we will simply drag and drop this field we will do right click two and we will simply drag and drop it here then we can see the difference between the order date and the shipping date this is the basically difference in the terms of day if we want to calculate the difference in terms of month in terms of uh, year year then we also can calculate according to our data we can modify in calculated field day we can replace by month and year so so friends now we will use our next function date part of the date what we will do now simply drag and drop order date order date here and convert this to the day by simply right click convert this to the discrete now we want to uh, extract the date part then what we will do we will go to the create calculated field we will create new field here of the name date part date part what we will do
date part slash month we can create it to day or year too we will write down date part function date part and what we will do date part we want to write down in the terms of month and for which quantity we want order date so you can see how we have write down it then apply and ok then new field created date part month if we simply drag and drop see this is showing day of order date day of order date similarly so if we want this uh, by simply right click we can convert it to the discrete and because these measures we have to go to the measures and automatically it will we have to con convert it to minimum if we will go to the minimum see minimum date this will show one 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 so we can understand by uh, easily the beauty of Tableau, how easily we can modify our data extract data on the basis of day month and year now the last function date name we have to extract date name on the basis of month year or day now we will go to create calculated field we will create a field, new field here date name on the basis of month so what we will do date name we are doing this on the basis of month extraction of date name and for order date simply apply and ok and simply drag and drop date month here so we can easily see in which month the data sorry in which month the data is really in which month the data have ordered and we can extract the name of the month so I hope you understand all the orders, all the all the date functions on the basis of month, day, and year, and how we can manipulate this according to our requirement. See. This name is coming January, January, January. So we were extracting the month name January, Feb, March, April. If we will go to, we will scroll down. We will see another month too. So I hope you understood what I want to make you clear. So guys, thank you. Thank you so much.